If you want to know why buying a home this winter can save you money, you're going to want to stay tuned for this whole video. Hey everybody, Alex here again. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel again. If this is your first time on my channel, I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so definitely hit that subscribe button if you wanna know more about real estate. In this video, I'm gonna break down why buying a home this winter could save you way more money than waiting after the new year to make your big purchase. Now, the first way that you can save money by purchasing your home now rather than waiting until after the new year is that all this unsold inventory from the spring is sitting on the market with high days on the market so normally these sellers are very motivated to sell and you can carve out a really, really nice deal. Now you need to understand as a buyer that all the listings coming on during this time of the year are very motivated sellers. They might be relocating for a job or moving states to go move with family. Whatever the reason is, they're very, very motivated and if you put a good offer in front of them, they're probably more enticed to take it. Also, just with the seasonality trend, there's less buyers in the market shopping right now, which means less competition for you when you find that home you like, you're less likely to have multiple offer situations, and you're probably only gonna be the only buyer that's interested in that property. What this means for you as a buyer in the marketplace, if you were to wait till after the new year, is that you're gonna have a ton of more competition when you start shopping for homes. And let me explain why. During the winter, we see less listings come on and pending sales are normally higher than the listings coming on. This means that during the winter, we clean up the inventory that we have unsold coming off of the spring. Now, when the new year comes on, all these buyers start flooding into the marketplace shopping for their home again, which means there's gonna be more competition and less inventory. So it's a supply and demand issue. Keep in mind, I'm located in Washington, Linwood, Washington, and Snohomish County. So let me give you guys some graphs if you live within this area to better illustrate what I'm talking about. So you can see that most of the listings come on during May, about 1,900 listings for the month. In December, the lowest part of the graph, 400 listings. So with already low inventory levels in the market and we're in the winter cleanup, once we hit January, there's going to be a lot of competition in the marketplace to buy a home. So moving on from that, if you look at the first three price ranges and the month's supply that are highlighted, they're below one, which is extremely low. So once we clean up that inventory through the winter, those numbers are going to drop even lower. And when the buyers start coming out shopping for homes, it's going to be an extreme frenzy market again. So short story short, if you wait till after the new year, you're going to have less inventory with more buyers shopping for homes. This could make it an extreme frenzy market below $500,000, which means multiple offers and price appreciation for all those homes at the beginning of the year. Now, of course, this is based off the price point you're shopping in because the higher end market has higher inventory. But if you're shopping like a first time home buyer, or even a move up buyer around $600,000 and less, you can expect very, very low inventory after the new year and prices are gonna start increasing. If you've been on the edge of buying, hopefully you found this video informational and now is a great time to buy rather than waiting until after the new year. So there you guys have it. Hopefully you found this video very informational and got some value out of it. Stay tuned for the videos coming Wednesday and Friday later this week. As always, appreciate the support. We'll see you guys.